Hello, uh, hi, you join me driving home from, uh, well, where I used to live. Just been to the hospital um, for ophthalmology. Had a very horrible, horrible procedure performed. Ugh. Uh, but basically for a long time, there's, there's a vein that's enlarged on my iris. Um, and they've been monitoring it for years. We're using photography and hand drawings and all this kind of stuff. And uh, they decided that today was the day they were going to try and do the ultrasound ultrasound photography of it. I have a severe phobia of things near my eyes. Never mind touching. Um, I can't even watch the wife put on eye makeup or anything like that. Or it just freaks me out. So that was very, very unpleasant. But the good news is I have now been officially discharged from that after like seven, eight years of them monitoring it. So that's the first bit. The second bit, updates on me trying to get my, D, my um, HGV license. Basically, I'm still in a stupid, crappy holding pattern. Um, DVLA are just been a bit of a joke at the moment and taking forever. Um, I got a text message, I think it was on the 13th, so basically a month after I sent my application saying that they've received my application. Why take, uh, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. So that is now apparently being processed. Um, I, this is today is now the 31st, still not heard anything, so I decided to give them a call the other day, um, after close to 20 attempts, finally got through to switchboard, which was a, a nightmare in itself, and then managed to get through to uh, the applications department, who then told me, oh it's with medical department, we don't have access to that information, let me transfer you. It could be another 30 minute wait. Oh, at that point, I've been waiting on the phone for 40 minutes. But anyway, uh, put through in the medical department, 30 minute wait to be told, yes, it's with the medical team. Um, we'll let you know when we get an answer. Bye. I just wanted an update on how long potentially, and they refused to give me one. So, yeah, need to say, I'm pissed at how long it's taking. I am also very, very thankful that um, I self-funded the medical and didn't wait for the DWP um, because, well, I've still not heard from them either, but um, I'm about two weeks out from the first potential point of hearing about it. Um, I think it's like two weeks. Yeah, it's about two weeks. Two weeks? I think it is two weeks out from hearing about the first potential bit of it. Um, and if I'd waited till then for them to release the funds, if they give me the go ahead, then I would have been right at the back of the beginning of the queue for the DVLA. Instead, I am still waiting for the DWP, but I am. As it stands, about six weeks in advance of it, six, seven weeks ahead of um, where I would have been when the DWP have come to a decision. So hopefully, um, hopefully my provisional comes through very soon and around about the same time, fingers crossed, I should get the green light for the DWP that they're paying for everything and then I can go straight into training hallelujah but then again first things first is theory test yeah that's gonna be fun gotta book in for that but I can't book in till I have my professional yay but yeah so that is the update there um well in the meantime it, it just sucks um, 
that, that it feels wrong that I don't. I'm, I'm currently like driving now without my photo card. It just doesn't feel right. Because then you know it's always have your license on you at all times when you're driving. Well, I can't. The VLA have it. But oh well, well, all I can do is just wait and wait and wait and wait some more. So there we go. So that's the update of that. In the meantime, uh, my sat nav is getting confused. Even though I don't really need the sat nav, I don't know why I turned it on, but anyway. I've been working on some side projects that way. Um, one of them is quite a major one that I'm not going to go into details about. But it's it's taking a long time to do and a lot of work to do. Um, can I see? There, there's a little bit of light in the tunnel, not a massive amount, but there's a little bit. So we just gotta just gotta keep cracking on with that. I've also started another side project because you know me sitting at home not allowed to work whilst I wait for DWP to decide whether they're going to fund my driving licence. Um, I'm going a bit stir crazy. But basically I've started a new side project for something that's from all like the truck vloggers that I watch and trucking podcasts that I listen to and so on. I get the idea soon. It's kind of in demand. In demand. In demand. I've started building um, a website slash online app for um, truck stops so people can rate truck stops and say what they think about them and let people know where they are and how they you know, like prices and stuff like that. Because something I've noticed from them, podcasts and things like that, and the vloggers is basically sometimes you don't know the price of something until you get there. There is a big disagreement about financial sense with things. There's a lot of smoke just come out of the engine of that one car in front. Holy crap, is that a lot of smoke? Um, so, this is a nap club type building. Um, where it basically just has a list of truck stops in the UK and you can put prices up on it and contact details and opening hours and what facilities them have and all this kind of stuff and people can rate them. So that's something I've started working on. Um, how long it's going to take me, I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and uh, at the end of the day, the other project that I can't go into is a higher priority. Um, because, well, it, it just simply is, let's put it that way. Uh, as well as there's another potential side project coming in, which is going to drive me even more insane, potentially. Just the irony that I've decided I don't want to go back into the software industry and web development. I want to be a truck driver. And whilst I'm waiting, for funds and permission to go ahead and be a truck driver, um, I'm basically doing more software than I've done in a long time outside of work. The friggin' irony is just you can, you, so thick you can almost friggin' paint it on with a bloody knife, you know. But that's what's going on. And that's the update. It's, it's not a massive amount to say, other than I'm still waiting. Um, by estimates, this is an estimate because who knows with current situations and government departments and stuff like that. Theoretically, I'm about two weeks out between two and four weeks out from hearing from the DWP 
and from last guidelines of what DVLA was saying, I'm about one to three weeks out from here from them. So, who knows? All I do know is that in the meantime, whilst I'm waiting for this to happen, because of the whole driver shortage thing that, that may or may not actually be a driver shortage, but anyway, thing that's going on at the moment, I'm seeing pay rates for drivers starting to creep up, and that's a thing that's going to happen. Uh, mid leaves mainly for class one, and at the moment I'm only going for class two because that's all the funds I'm about to release for now. But it's got to be a good sign if by the time I drive, I may be getting paid. There, there's potential, potential, that I could be getting paid more as a class two driver than when I was a software developer. Which is crazy. People always assume that, you know, software developer or you're in good money, which, don't get me wrong, I was. I was on reasonable money. I wish it was more, but then that's the story of everyone. Everyone wants more. But I was in reasonable money, and, um, yeah, the potential that being a lorry driver, I could get paid more, potentially, is, like, crazy. Very very crazy. But anyway, that is it. I am uh, currently driving home. My one eye is feeling a little strange because there was a numbing anaesthetic like glass that gauge and put into it. Don't worry, wrong. Don't, wrong. Don't worry. It's not affecting my vision. It just feels weird. Uh, especially like I've got the air vents on in the car. I can feel it around like air cool air moving around this side. This side, I can't feel anything. It's weird. But yes, I will try and keep you up to date. Um, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all the other YouTube UV stuff. Um, still haven't decided whether I actually am going to vlog. If I get the go ahead, that is. If I'm going to vlog. Um, whilst I'm driving and working. Bear in mind that if I do get my license and get a job, work comes first. Um, but I will try and keep you up to date and posted on what's going on. Apologies if this is shaking a lot, but I am just trying something with the phone mount in my car to see if I can fit my little fake GoPro on that. But yes, until next time. See ya. Bye-bye.